don't have to drink to enjoy a night out in Milwaukee. Mocktails are catching on at a lot of local bars and on Milwaukee's Molly Snyder joins us uh, with the best places to try out this trend. Good to have you. Always great to have you. Thank you. Uh, well, this is fun. I mean, a lot of people tend to give up drinking this time of the year for Lent or maybe some people are choosing just not to drink in general. Doesn't mean you got to stay at home. Absolutely. Uh, there are a lot of reasons why people are giving up drinking and that's something that we've seen is different in that it's not just uh, attached to some form of addiction. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are just choosing because they want to be healthier, right. they don't want to be hung over in the morning, or they just don't want to spend as much money because mocktails... It does add up. It really does <laughs> add up, right. So in Milwaukee, uh, like all over the country, there's been so many bars that have stepped forward and are offering uh, more than just your seltzer with a lime or your Shirley Temple, as we always call them, or mm -hmm. you know Arnold Palmer's or things like that. These are actual drinks that look, smell, and taste like cocktails, but they don't have any booze in them. Ooh, very so. nice. And you had the fun, I guess, job of going from bar to bar and checking out the different mocktails. Did you have any favorites? That is true. I have an excellent job, <laughs> and one of my assignments was to try mocktails this week, and I did. I had a number of really good drinks all around uh, the Milwaukee area. Jazz Estate makes some really nice drinks, uh, both for the season and then, of course, this winter. They had used a lot of local coffee, local reishi tea to make their mocktails. Those were really good. I had an excellent pina colada mocktail at Ooh. the Lost Whale in Bayview, and I love pina coladas, and I have very high standards, uh -huh. so I didn't miss the booze at all. I thought it was very, very delicious. Uh, and just uh, in general, I would say that uh, Hotel Madrid mm. in Walker's Point mm -hmm. does a really nice job. Boone and Crockett uh, it also in Walker's Point does a really nice job with mocktails. And the thing is that you don't have to have a mocktail menu, even though so many bars do. Mm -hmm. You can ask a bartender just to whip you something up. Okay. And that's what's also really changing, too. And because the bartender has all of the ingredients there that makes it more fun than just making a cranberry juice and salsa at home or mm -hmm. something, this is a... a presents a lot of possibilities in terms of you know, bitters and tonic and different juices. And so there's a lot more opportunity when you order one from a bartender to get something kind of snazzy. Mm -hmm. Do you see this trend sticking around? I mean, even after rent, uh, Lent, rather, just a few years from now, do you see it sticking around? I do, I do. I see people uh, that are choosing to drink sometimes and choosing not to drink all other times. Yeah. And I think that's really great is that we kind of try to find this medium road, especially, mm -hmm. you know, here in Milwaukee, we love drinking, of course. There's so many good drinks to be had, so many great distilleries and, you know, great beer products, of course. But there's certain times when you don't want to do that, but you don't want to lose the social aspect. Right. You want to go out with your work people after a long week. You know, you want to go out and celebrate that birthday or anniversary and you want to feel special mm -hmm. and you can do it and not feel like you're left out or not feel like there's something wrong with you or not feel like people are looking at you because you know did you, did you overdo it at one right. point in your life right none of that and you have all the recommendations on on Milwaukee so people can go there for what to order and where to order it at so thank you so much for sharing some awesome tips about this Molly thanks for having me uh,